Hi, my name is Charlie. I'm from Short Block Charlie's Pro One Racing Heads. Uh, today I just want to go over basic porting techniques that we use in porting a cylinder head. I'm not going to get involved in trying to tell you how to port a head and, and different designs and things like that. You can go to forums or read books on cylinder head porting. Uh, the thing I want to talk about to you right now is about the tools you need to use to port a cylinder heads. I like to use the Fordham setup. It's a variable speed setup for porting a cylinder head. As you can see, I've got all the tools here that I need. The other thing, I'm 73 years old. I can't see very well, so I need all the lights in the world to see what I'm doing, and plus my safety my safety glasses that I'm wearing here. The uh, It's important to always wear a mask, wear a set of gloves. I take the fingers out of these gloves so that I can feel the port after I'm, when I'm working it to make sure it's to the, to the contour that I want. The basics of porting, there's three things that you gotta be concerned with. One, how to enhance airflow. Two, port velocity. And three, designing a valve seat to complement the porting in that. And that includes designing a throat ratio to your valve diameter and things like that. It's interesting, I see a lot of guys putting oversized valves and heads and they don't change the throat ratio. You didn't do much. I consider that as a safety ported cylinder head in my thoughts and things like that. But anyway, I just want to show you the tools that we have here. One of the interesting tools, the late Joe Mondello, he designed this tool. This is a tool that is works really great to work the short side radiuses of a port so that you can get the radius to smooth in to the valve seat. Uh, uh, some of the th things I like to use is I like using the bow lube. I like using bow lube for uh, the, the tools. These tools, as you see, most of these things are three to four years old. They're still as good as new. This, this helps you tool life and it helps you move remove material. The other thing I like to use is this paste, this bow lube paste, and I like to use this on the sanding rolls. It helps you get a good surface finish and design on a, on a port or a combustion chamber in that. Uh, the other thing right now that seems to be the fa big fad in cylinder head porting is a textured finish. And I wanted to show you how you can do a textured finish. What you do is you take an old bit and take it and just put it in a vise and just bend it so you can have it rotate as you can see how it's rotating like that. The other thing about porting, uh, I like, like I said, I like to use the electrical uh, type setups with a cable drive to work on cylinder heads. I'm not into the air because you don't have good control. You don't need to use a lot of speed to port a cylinder head in that. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you how you can put a textured finish on this head. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, We'll be doing this head over, but I just wanted you to see how we get that texture finished here on the port. That's how you do that. And then I wanted to show you on the sanding roll. What I do here is sometimes I'll take a contact cleaner or something to clean the, the sanding roll. But you can just come in here You see the nice finish you can get? This, it, the ports really look neat on the exhaust ports when you do this. And, that, and believe it or not, the sanding rolls, one of these rolls will last you for three sets of heads. See how nice the finish is on there? So, anyway, just an overview. When you, when you go to figure out how to port a head, bigger is not always better. We need, like I said, port velocity. Look at the head. You know, visualize how air is going to go through that port and then try to do the best that you can. And then, of course, throat ratios on, on to your valve, especially on oversized valves. Also, it's just not the port that in, you, you have to enhance. You've also got to look at your combustion chamber and how the air is coming in and out of the, out of the port into your combustion chamber. So this is an important part of the port.
and the same thing on the exhaust side when that valve's coming up in the air bringing the piston coming up to push the air out to, through your exhaust port. I hope this helps you. Uh, thank you for watching this video.